Hello and welcome to another tutorial on Ultra Game Template and how to configure certain things. In this case, we're going to learn how to show input message to the player. So the player, so you have tutorials and the player knows how to jump, how to traverse the world or whatever. It's actually super simple. And to do that, we're actually going to do a class that uh, is already pre-configured. Okay. So we're going to go to Ultra Game Template, first person example game. And in Blueprints, you will see that here we have a Blueprint which is called UGT Trigger or UGT In-Game Button. You could use uh, either one of those, okay? So I'm going to uh, use the trigger. And this is a trigger that is pre-configured to just detect the player once the player enter. And to use this trigger is actually super easy because um, the player has a, a, a tag and the player capsule has another tag. And, and we set those up in the here in the default game data asset, okay, say player tag, and then UGT auto fits the player with those tags, okay, and this trigger just detect if someone is traversing this trigger with those tags. So we're going to go to actor, and we're going to go to add event and UGT trigger activated, okay, and first we will say print string, okay, to see if this is working, and I'm going to play, and as you can see, this is working, uh, down to the uh, right is hello. I'm just going to disenable do once, okay? And additionally, because now I'm working in development mode, what I'm going to do is in the default game data asset, I'm going to activate here in testing, I'm going to activate development build. And why is that? Because in development build, you can actually see this trigger even if you package your game, okay? So now I have hello, hello, hello. Okay, how do we show a message to the player? It's super easy. Show message. And now we have UGT show input message. And we also have show message, UGT show message. And again, we have also hide message, case UGT hide message. Let's start with the simple one, okay? The UGT show message. And this is amazing because you can write here whatever you want. Okay. And as you can see, when I enter here, a message is shown to the player. Okay. And it's a localized message. The, this is the text you will have to localize. Again, we will see how to localize all this in the localization tutorial down the line. Don't worry. It's super easy. Uh, but again, this is the way to do it. So, um, normal message. How do we disable that message? We can set a duration here. For example, let's make this message to take four seconds to disappear. And now this message in four seconds, pop, it should disappear. Okay, this is fantastic. But what if we use another style? For example, minimalistic style. Again, we have the minimalistic message now. And if we have the brush style, for example, we have the brush style for the message. So this is good news, okay? So instead of brush, I'm going to say sci-fi, okay, fantastic. And everything is working right. And now let's show this input message. And the input message is actually super simple. What we need to do is press and hear the input name without the gamepad, okay? And then to do whatever, uh, so for example, if I go to my inputs and I want to show the player how to, uh, uh, let's say, ultra game template, uh, third person blueprint, third person channel, uh, sorry, input, EMC default. Here I have a spacebar and the name of my input, it's called TP jump. Okay, so I select TP underscore jump and then I put this here and message press uh, to jump. You can even choose the style of your message. So here integrated in text or input on the right separated by whatever. Let's choose this. And this, this won't take effect. But as you can see, now if I approach here is a space to jump. Okay. Then instead of, or you could say style integrated in text. Okay. And now we have Press space to jump. That is something that obviously we, we need to, to localize. Okay. 
So that's fun amazing. But how do we show uh, gamepad input to the player? You have already done it. In UGT, we auto detect if the player is using gamepad or input at any given time. And if I now move with my gamepad and I touch T here, as you can see, it doesn't change to gamepad. Why is that? Oh, because this message has already been said, maybe. Exactly. If I approach with a now, it says press add to jump. And the problem was really that. Yeah. Let me try again. Press space to jump. And because when I first reached here, I was with gamepad, I with uh, keyboard. Now it's keyboard. What you can do is uh, you could set up another box that actually cleans the input. So now there's another box here and I go actor, at event, UGT trigger activated, fantastic. And now I'm going to activate the UGT hide message. I compile and now it is going to work as intended. So here, press add to jump because I'm in my gamepad. And now I'm going to touch again with keyboard and it says press space. Now I'm in gamepad and now press A to jump. And if I change this to any other thing, it should work. So that's the way that you show inputs to the player. So hope you like it and see you in the next tutorial.